Malthus was concerned about exponential growth, that you cannot sustain exponential growth, which was already beginning to happen at that time, and that we would run out, as you say, run out of the resources. And um, he was wrong, and he made some prediction for the, the maximum number. And by the way, um, about um, in the, the 70s, there was a famous book um, I'm trying to remember the author, it was called The Population Bomb, um, Ehrlich, Paul Ehrlich, the ecologist Paul Ehrlich uh, from Stanford uh, wrote a book that was very influential at the time, it was a very similar argument, only a modern version, and it was wrong too. And, uh, um, I, it, and it, it's wrong because uh, the, neither Malthus nor Ehrlich took into account innovation. And that was the point, and economists attack, have always attacked Malthus uh, by saying, look, he completely ignored the fact that we innovate ourselves out of these problems. That is, we, um, uh, we find much better ways of um, doing agriculture, we uh, find much more efficient ways of using our energy, and so forth. Um, and of course, that's what's happened. So I completely agree with that. Innovation is the key, um, and cities are the mechanism that we have invented to somehow engender and maximize innovation and create ideas and wealth. So that's great, and I completely agree with the, the, the criticism. However, what surprised me in the work that I got involved in is that, yes, you innovate your way out, but you pay a price and the price you pay is that everything gets faster. And uh, so uh, the question is, is it, uh, so uh, you know, we've had t in my lifetime at least two huge revolutions in terms, of in terms of innovation. One is computers and the other is IT, which is different, but it needed computers of course. But it um, and they've come very quickly and the next innovation has to come within 20 years of that magnitude. And so my concern is, is it conceivable that we can keep up this accelerated pace of innovation to keep up with the driving exponential or super exponential growth that we have? So I, in that sense, I call myself a neo-Malthusian because it's a slightly more sophisticated argument, but in the end still comes back to um, you not able to produce enough to keep up with the rate at which you want to grow.